GCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 513A. And here we're looking at plasmids, viruses, and the formation of recombinant DNA. This image here represents the plasmid. Plasmids are found in bacterial cells. They are a ring of DNA. They are particularly small and don't carry very many genes. This diagram here illustrates a virus. Essentially a virus has a protein shell called a capsid and inside there will be a nucleic acid possibly DNA or RNA. The virus has no other cellular components, no cytoplasm, no nucleus, no other structures like this. This diagram represents a human chromosome. This is a length of DNA. So the human chromosome is made of DNA. For the purposes of this discussion we'll identify a gene which is here and this gene codes for the protein insulin which as you may know is a hormone controlling blood sugar levels. The restriction enzyme is selected that can cut the DNA here and here. Essentially we're going to cut out the gene for insulin. These enzymes are called restriction enzymes which were covered in section 512. Having cut the gene then we would progress to this stage here where we will take the plasmid and we will cut it with exactly the same restriction enzyme. So the restriction enzyme used to cut out the human gene is also used to cut the plasmid. This leaves the plasmid looking like this. So that the ring structure is broken. The next stage is to introduce into the cut plasmids the human insulin gene like this. Remembering that the plasmid is composed of DNA and the human gene is composed of DNA. The next step will leave our plasmid with the human gene inserted in here. It's then necessary to complete the process by applying a second enzyme which is called a DNA ligase enzyme which will join the DNA. This combination then of the human gene and the plasmid DNA is known as recombinant DNA. The 
fate of the recombinant DNA is covered in 513b.